Camp is a certain mode of aestheticism, a quality discoverable in objects and the behaviour of persons. Clothes, furniture, all the elements of visual decor make up a large part of camp. The whole point of camp is to dethrone the serious. Camp taste is above all a mode of enjoyment, of appreciation, not judgment. Camp taste is a kind of love. My name is Harry Clayton Wright, a performance artist from Blackpool and a self-confessed connoisseur of camp. See, I told you. We're here at the Harris Museum in Preston where I've been given keys to the building and access to the archives to bring you a very special video series, Camp in the Collection, Harry at the Harris. At the beginning of the video, I read you some of my favourite lines from Susan Sontag's Notes on Camp, an essay that inspired the framework of the Metropolitan Museum of Art's annual Glitzy Met Gala in 2019. And with that event in mind, the first part of the collection I want to focus on today is inspired by fashion and costume. It was Oscar Wilde who once said, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. And it was me who said, one should either be camp or wear something camp, or both. So with that in mind, I've been rooting through the archives on a quest to bring you the most fabulous and campus pieces of costume and fashion that we can find. I hope you like it. This dress is iconic. Famously from the painting Pauline in the Yellow Dress by Sir James Gunn, it was nicknamed the Mona Lisa of 1944. On its first day of exhibition, over 5,000 people came to see it. Yellow viscose with a black geometric pattern and black velvet bows. In the painting, it is seen undone. Hmm, racy. The zipper running from hem to waist. In 1944, scandalous. To still be talking about this dress, 77 years later, is testament to its status as an iconic camp dress. I have, al I have always adored Vivian Westwood. Ever since I was a teenager, I would save up my money and try and buy something a wallet, a handkerchief, a tie, that was all I could afford. But these shoes are incredible and they've actually allowed me to touch them. That's enough touching, I'm a bit scared. Vivian Westwood reminds me of Naomi Campbell, Gwen Stefani, Pete Burns. These shoes are from the Cut, Slash and Pull collection from 1991 and they came to the museum from a woman who used to wear them going dancing in Blackpool and Preston camp. Bringing some pure Las Vegas magic to Preston with this item. Look at it shine. Look at it sparkle. It is beautiful. It is said this item is probably fancy dress. Now, these days, fancy dress is a Smithy's wig, so we all need to learn to step it up. I just want to confess to this crime beforehand. If it ever goes missing, it was me. I did it. How's about a Lan Van Couture skirt? Now, as much as this is high fashion couture, darling, it also reminds me of a bingo caller from Blackpool Seafront, and that is camp. Now, I'm no historian, you may have worked that out already, but I absolutely love this because for me it demonstrates the earliest example of a cohort. Not just that, an interchangeable bodice with a sort of different style so you can mix it up with the same skirt. Beautiful, love that. This one is very, as long as he needs me, Nancy from Oliver West End production, love it. Win an Olivier, I'm up here for it. Now this one also very, it's the way you make me feel, Steps music video from the sort of 2000s. Love, 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 love. Just love everything about it. Camp, 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 camp. On the cute end of the camp spectrum, what I love about this item is that it was worn for the Preston Guild by three generations of the same family in 1882, 1922, and 1945. Camp can be outlandish, yes 
But to me, camp is also about frugality in treasuring items and letting them have a meaning and a story. Initially, I'm not gonna lie, upside down I thought this was shoulder pads, but no, it is a hat worn by the mayoress for the Preston Guild Fancy Dress Ball in 1922. And it's at this point I want to say that Preston has such an amazing history of dressing up for the Preston Guild, which is essentially the Met Gala of Preston, that I feel like Preston as a city, you are camp and I love it. Preston, you are camp. Bravo. Little bit Liza, little bit Shirley Bassey. This dress is the highest of camp. You can see it, and I say this with love, on a drag queen belting out show tunes on a Sunday afternoon. Heaven. Now, this dress was designed by David Fielden, who studied at Preston Polytechnic, and I did a little Google to find out who else has worn a David Fielden, and we have names such as Elizabeth Taylor, Bette Midler, Cindy Lauper, Helena Bonham Carter. A fun fact, a dress like this, even in 1985, would cost you a thousand pounds. Gorgeous, love it. I'll take one. Thank you so much for watching our video camp in the collection with our focus on fashion and costume. My interpretation through the lens of camp. You might agree, you might not. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you like. And we'll see you back here for another camp in the collection very soon. <laughs> Bye.